regards to one and all this side sahil makkar from swami shardanand college and i am going to speak against the motion one of the most conspicuous trends in rural areas is skyrocketing of plight on women there usually it's very fascinating to talk about feminism to support women but it often become the ground for the politicians to run their politics in this area which often gives rise to the pseudo feminism in our country in our modern cities but i lament over the fact that in rural areas we are far away to talk about the feminism and the related issues this bubble of feminism is very easily busted by the fallacy of male dominating society which can be seen by the ratio of boys versus girls in schools universities and colleges which can easily be seen by the ratio of women and the men participating in various government institution private institutions etc because women are forced to remain confined to the household work which is very narrow minded is and parents hesitate to send their girls to the school because of lack of uh, proper toilets proper sanitization there and which is often followed by the lack of sexual education that we should impart to our children which is deploring and even after such issues are very important to talk about but we are very far away till date to deal with them because till today we are facing the obstacles the social evils like that of female feticides female infanticides like that of dowry which is exasperating isn't it women's the girls small girls are kidnapped and forced to work as a sex workers they are married they are forced to get married before the age of 18 even sometimes it is seen that they are forced to marry even before puberty is hit them which is very deploring and against the human rights and in such cases laws are seen to be just the notes of smoke and mirror jotted on the paper many times it becomes the game of survival for a little girls as i have mentioned about the female feticides infanticides and the other tyranny pronounced on the girls and the women thus because of all such situation we are ranked as the world's fourth most dangerous country for the women which is very shameful for all of us and thus at last i just want to say that our country our rural areas basically the rural areas are very far away from the concept of feminism and i want to end my speech with a note that as a cart need two wheels to move ahead similarly our cart of our country needs the two wheel of the development of male and the females to take our country ahead towards a civilized society and towards the developing world thank you